Right, short and sweet video here. But one of the most important steps, probably of all with the helmet, which is washing it. Um, what most people don't realise is when you actually mould a helmet, sometimes um, the people moulding one, um, when they start casting it, they have to uh, use a mould release. This basically helps you get the cast out of the mould easier. Um, and sometimes the, the releasing agent is still present on the helmet when you receive it. And this stuff can actually cause a lot of problems um, when you start painting. Sometimes the paint won't dry or it'll even bubble. Or when you put some tape down, you'll, you know, it'll, it'll pull the paint up. So this is one of the steps you can do inside safely. I've got a bowl of water here, and lukewarm, uh, mixed with just some ordinary washing up liquid. And the thousand, uh, the zero, 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 zero wire wall you saw from the other video. And really, all we need to do, wet the helmet, same with the wire wall, and just start scrubbing it. That's pretty much all we need to do. You don't really need the wire wall. An ordinary rag would probably do. But uh, the wire wall is a lot more coarse than what you get. You know, this is a normal rag. It's, it's more of a chance of it getting all the, all the release agent off because there's not actually anything on there. This is pretty much all you need to do. Alright, uh, just literally. Knock back the entire helmet with a wire wall. Any motion is, is good enough. You know, you do it in circles. Which again a dent all around it. Um, once the entire helmet is done, uh, you want to dry it out. Or if you're like me, and it's at past 11 at night, just, uh, just leave it on the draining board. Well, that's it. That's the easiest step. But if you miss this step, it can easily ruin your day. Um, you put a couple of colours down, and it's usually on the last colour that it'll, it'll probably affect it. Um, I've got a workshop to myself tomorrow, so I can start cutting out the visor, and attaching the stalk, and boring pieces, and hopefully this project will start getting a little bit more exciting. So I'm going to finish up this helmet now, give it a good scrub. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that, and uh, hopefully see you in the next video.